Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Analytical Guy. Today we are going to discuss about a very important topic for FMCG distributors and stakeholders of FMCG sales team that is return on investment ROI. So we will discuss about ROI then what should be the healthy ROI, what are the components and we'll have a case study on ROI, we'll have a calculation. ROI is widely used financial metric in FMCG industry. If you are a salesman, sales manager or a distributor, this video will be very beneficial to you to make informed decisions. So what is ROI and why do we need to calculate ROI? ROI is a financial metric that is widely used to measure the probability of gaining a return from an investment. So the formula for ROI is profit divided by investment into 100% which is also equal to income minus expense upon investment into 100%. So why? Why are we calculating ROI? First, to determine the health of distributors business. Second, to determine if the infrastructure can be supported by the distributor. Third, to determine the drivers of ROI and unproductive cost and investments which impact ROI. So sometimes you get to know while you're calculating ROI that which are the components which are not productive and you can eliminate them. Now we will discuss about healthy ROI. The distributor is an entrepreneur and he is investing his own time and money in the business and expects return. So this is one of the graphs where you can see the return versus risk metric. So if the lower risk is there, returns will also be lower. Moderate risk, moderate returns, high risk and high returns. This is similar to stock market. If you have a large cap where risk is very low, the returns would be lower and in small cases, maybe high risk return would be high investment in fd yields around six to seven percent in today's outlook healthy roi should be roughly around two to three times of bank rate so you can say 20 to 25 percent is a good healthy roi all right so now we will be focusing on components. What are the components of ROI? As we have already discussed, so first would be income. What is the income of the distributor? Second, what are the expenses incurred? And thirdly, investment. So if we calculate income, expenses and investment, we can calculate the ROI. So what comes under income? Margins, cash discounts, distributor incentives, which he gets monthly then what are the metrics which comes under expenses uh, cd to trade go down rent manpower salary accounting then manpower electricity so we will talk about the calculations in uh, later slides so investments count uh, stocks in go down market credit vehicle depreciated value average monthly claim all right so we have to reduce total outstandings from total investment to arrive at net investment so there would be some outstanding against the company's uh, portfolio so that he has to reduce and then you can calculate the net investment okay so now we will calculate the roi in this slide we'll talk about roi calculation we'll take a real life scenario Let's say there is a distributor, ABC agency in Delhi. His annual turnover is 12 crores. Monthly turnover would be 1 crore. Again, here would be taking three components, income, expenses and investment. First, I'll start with income. As you can see, I have bifurcated them into 5% margin, 3% margin, 1% margin. So if you 
understand the FMCG scenario, distributor sells at various different margins to retailer depending on his uh, capacity and what are the cash uh, flow intake. So, if 30% of his monthly turnover he sells at 5% margin, that would be 30 lakhs into 5% would be 1 lakh 50,000. Similarly, for 3% margin, uh, that would be 50% of monthly turnover that would be 50 lakhs into 3% would be 1 lakh 50,000 and 20% of monthly turnover would be 20 lakhs into 1% margin would be 20,000 and I have also added the schemes so on an average he gets 2% for 2% on 1 crore that would be 2 lakhs so total gross income he gets is 5 lakhs 20,000 now coming to the next component expenses these are the various expenses, salesman, computer operator, driver, transportation, go down rent, electricity, miscellaneous. Um, it can include stationery and any other thing. Total operating expenses will be 1,97,000. Now coming to the final component that is investment. Here I have taken three components in investment, stocks, market credit and claims. So if he maintains 75% of his monthly turnover, that would be 75 lakhs and market credit considering 15 days company credit, that would be 50 lakhs and claims roughly around 1 lakhs. So total investment is 1 crore 26 lakhs. So if I calculate monthly ROI, what it would be? So first I'll take income minus expenses. Then I'll divide it by investment, right? So I'll get it 2.56%. So if I have to calculate annual ROI, that would be multiplied by 12, we will get 30.7%. So this ROI for the distributor is really healthy. So as we have already discussed, anything above 20% is considered healthy. So for our example, this ROI is really healthy. Now you have understood what is ROI, what are the components and how to calculate ROI. But there are various other factors which needs to be considered. For that I can share the ROI calculation excel sheet. That sheet will contain all the parameters that are to be considered. If you want that excel file, please comment below with your email id, I'll share it. If you guys like this video, please like, share and subscribe so that I can make more such informative videos. Thank you for watching.